Hi, Blaze from QuickBooks here, and today I'm going to go over payroll settings for QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, and Elite. Payroll settings is the place to go for all your base payroll information, including your company's legal name, as well as its federal and state filing information. It's where you go to define who is paying and filing your payroll taxes and forms, as well as set your printing preferences, and of course, setting up your payroll bank account, as well as see your direct deposit limit and timing. It is also the place for key features such as auto payroll, where QuickBooks runs your payroll for you, and early pay, which gives your employees early access to their money. First off, let's see how you get to payroll settings. To access payroll settings, click on the settings gear icon in the upper right hand corner after logging in to your QuickBooks online payroll core premium or elite product, and then click on payroll settings will look different depending upon if you have accounting turned on or off. Okay, now let's dive into it. First off, let's start at the top with all your basic legal, federal, and state information. Please note, this company is only based out of California. If it was based out of multiple states, each state would be listed here. Throughout this presentation, there will be data that is blurred out for privacy and security reasons. The look and feel of the page you're seeing may also change over time as we modernize the way that it looks. Okay, let's get into this. First off, under your general tax information, that's where you can see your company's legal filing name and what type of company you're set up as, as well as your company's business address. It's also where you see your federal EIN and your state IDs. This is also where you're able to update your state unemployment insurance rate before you run payroll. And currently, our Washington-based companies can also update their state unemployment insurance rate after they've run payroll. We will be rolling this feature out nationwide so that everyone can update their state unemployment insurance rate themselves. Next, auto payroll. In order to be eligible for auto payroll, the company must be completely set up, have at least one employee who is eligible, and payroll must be run manually at least once. At the employee level, the employee profile is complete and the employees must be salaried or hourly, but have a set amount of hours that they work each pay period. Now this can be done using either with direct deposit or even if you're paying by check. Obviously, you still need to write and cut the check yourself. But if you're using direct deposit, which is the most common way, then the direct deposit must be set up for both the company and the employee. I just want to reiterate that if auto payroll ever gets turned off, you may need to go back in and run payroll manually once more and before you can turn auto payroll back on again. Okay, so in payroll settings on the row that says auto payroll, click on the pencil edit icon, and then you'll see the list of your employees. For this company, I have one employee who's salaried and therefore is eligible, but currently not enrolled. And then I have two other employees who are both hourly, but they have no default hours. 
So for my one salaried employee, I'm going to go check on the box, which will now turn this to a number one. And it says enrolled, but I must make sure to save my changes. Once I click on save changes, then it'll prompt me to confirm my email as well as text message for any critical communications. Once I have this confirmed, then I come to this page, which clearly tells me what will happen when. Please note, you will receive notifications two business days before auto payroll processes, and again, after it has processed. If you ever want to change this, such as turning off an employee from auto payroll, all you need to do is click on select employees for auto payroll, which will take you back to this view where I simply uncheck the box, which makes my employees enrolled go to zero. And then once again, I must be sure to save my changes. Okay. Now on to taxes and forms. In a lot of my videos, I talk about auto pay and file being turned on or off, which really means who is paying and filing your payroll taxes and forms. With QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, and Elite, we empower you to decide. If you wish QuickBooks to do it and have completed your setup, including giving us all critical information and made sure that everything is good on your to-do list, then on the taxes and forms row, you'll see the words automated taxes and forms. And by clicking on the pencil icon, you'll see the word on, and you'll see that the box for automated taxes and forms is checked. Now, if you want to have control, over when your payroll taxes and forms are paid in file, you absolutely can. And in this case, in the payroll settings on taxes and forms, it will say either I'll initiate payments and filings using QuickBooks or I'll pay and file the right agencies through their website or by mail. And by clicking on the pencil icon, you'll see the box is unchecked You'll see the word off and you'll see your selection criteria. Now, the power of QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, and Elite is that you can actually change this. For many of our customers who have moved over from our Intuit Online Payroll products, when you're moved over by default, we leave you empowered to handle this yourselves. So it is turned off. If you wish to turn it on, you absolutely can. The only times that this will be blocked is during filing periods. During that time, you are unable to change who is going to be paying and filing. Please be sure to keep track of all your to-dos on the payroll overview page to make sure you're completely set up. And for any key notifications, in case we need you to take action. Okay. Now moving on to some W2 printing preferences. If you ever need to print a W2 for your employees, you have the option of printing either three-part, four-part, or even on plain paper. If you wish to order paper through us, you can do that too. Now on to early pay. Early pay allows your employees early access to their pay. I have a video coming up about this feature coming soon. So for right now, I'll just go over what you see in the payroll settings. In the payroll settings, you as the employer can either turn it on or turn it off. The employee will access early pay through workforce. 
Once again, a video that dives into this more is coming soon. Next, we have bank account information. This specifically is your payroll bank account information. In order to connect and verify your bank, simply click the pencil icon and then follow the instructions that you see here. This page will guide you through both setting up as well as any verification that needs to be done for your payroll bank account. Next, we have direct deposits. This is where you can see what your direct deposit payroll timing is set at, as well as any funding limits. Clicking on the pencil icon, you'll be able to see a bit more detail. Please note that if you select to have five day for your direct deposit timing period, then there's no funding limit. As long as you have sufficient funds in your account to cover it, you're all set to go. Otherwise, if you have a faster funding time period, then there will be a limit. That limit, once again, is a clearly visible on the main payroll settings page. If you need to increase that limit, such as come year end, when you're going maybe running bonuses, you can request higher limits by clicking on this link here. That'll take you to a page to either request a higher limit or request a faster funding time period if you happen to be on five-day funding. All right, next we go on to printing. Even if you select that you are paying your employee by paper check when you first enter your employee, if you want to print out checks through QuickBooks, you must come to payroll settings. By default, we assume that you simply want to print pay stubs through QuickBooks Online Payroll. If instead you want to print checks, you must click on the pencil edit icon and then select to print paychecks using QuickBooks compatible check paper. In order to get said paper, you can easily order checks right here. Please note the paper that's being used here is all pre-printed paycheck stock. So if you go in and select to actually print a paper check, again, you can be sure to order your check paper here and you have your options of printing either the paycheck and one pay stub or the paycheck and two pay stubs. This is also where you would go to align your paychecks. This is only for aligning paychecks. If you have accounting turned on and wish to align your invoices, you do that through accounting and settings. If you need to print either certified payroll or if you wish to print on blank check stock, then simply go to the QuickBooks App Store and search for an app that works for you. Okay, that was a lot of information. Hopefully you got it all but welcome to QuickBooks Online Payroll Core, Premium, and Elite, and I hope that overview of payroll settings was helpful. Thank you, and have a great day.